Hey guys, Wells Knight here, and welcome back to another episode of Kona Day One. And we're back, picking up right where we left off. Now, I think this is the way we still need to go. So we're gonna head down the road. We're leaving the Lumberjack's house that we explored last episode, and we're leaving some stuff behind there. There's like a key that we weren't able to get. Ooh. Oh, this, this looks bad. Let's, uh, let's pop out and take a look. Okay, so the power line's, like, exploding. Looks like things went pretty bad over Someone here. Someone must have dropped this in a hurry, but whoever did was heading into the woods. Carl's tracking instincts were quickly kicking in. Okay. What do we got? Some Polaroids. The track was fresh. That meant the car sunk down just a little while ago. Now, where the hell could the passengers possibly have gone? Okay, well, cold is a thing in this game. Like, um, you can get, you can end up getting, I don't know if it's uh, hurt if you get too cold or what, but uh, you can definitely get cold. So we don't want to be outside for too long, but this is too good of an opportunity to pass up. And it looks like we have some more of those ice crystals. Whoa! Carl felt engulfed by a wave of cold, and for a second thought he was fainting. Whoa! All of a sudden, four phantasmagoric figures were fixing their gaze on him. What the hell was going on? Whoa, this is different. Um... What? This just got weird. Okay, let's see. Can we talk to him? No? Okay, well, we have a man. A woman. Um, a man with long hair. And... Another man with longer hair? Or something? Okay. Um, can I, like, pull out my flashlight? Can... Oh! Oh! Camera! Camera! Can I take a picture? Hold on. Okay. Keep. Take a picture of that as well. Keep. And take a picture of that. Keep. Okay. So... If I just, like, Carl walk away? that the cold was beating a retreat, as if he was moving away from some kind of center of gravity. Okay, that's weird. That was really weird. Uh, we got a down tree. And then this... Where did this go? I'm, I really don't want to be out in the cold for this long. Yeah. We should probably head back to the road. I don't I don't think I even have like a um I, yeah. Let's let's whoa this way. Okay, so we've got the what appears to be like wolf tracks here. There's our car. Let's go ahead and get out and let's let's move on. Let's move on. That was weird. I have no idea what is actually going on now. Like as I said, I didn't play this a whole lot before I actually uh, started recording it because I didn't want to ruin the moments like that. I have no idea what to think right now. That's that's not your typical thing that you're supposed to see in even in Canada. And road whoa, turned whoa. into nothingness. Carl hated dead ends. Made him feel trapped. It seemed like the lake managed to completely swallow the road. Okay. Oh. I think I just ran over that car. So, now I'm a little confused. So let's just take a look. Oh yeah, yeah, you're not going down there. No way. No way. All right. Well, there was another spot. I suppose we could also try taking the truck that way. Through here? We might be able to make that happen. 
off-roading, maybe? Uh, may maybe not. Okay. Well, let's turn around. We did find a key last episode for a company of some sort. Maybe, maybe we can find the business that that, uh, that that key opens the door to or something. Um, I think it was back this way. It might have been that keep out sign, actually. There was like a keep out blockade type thing in the road. That might have been it. Yeah, here it is. Let's see. Um, okay, and it, I can't tell if it's a, I'm, I'm assuming this means private, not keep, uh, not like danger. I can't read French, but I'm, I'm assuming based on what little I do know. Oh, duct tape. Hello. Oh, and we got some, we got all sorts of stuff over here that I didn't see before. Random. That's interesting. Let's take a picture of that. It's a very interesting little thing. Okay. Alright, here we go. Let's go down the keep out private drive place. And just see, maybe there'll be something here that we can use? Let's go take a look. We are totally trespassing right now, though, so that's not a good thing. Ooh! Woodlots. Okay. And actually, that guy was a lumber... That guy, uh, at the last house was a lumberjack. And he works for a lumberjack. Not too shabby. Carl felt he needed to protect himself. Yeah, I might. So, can I chop wood? Like, if I find a... A pile of wood? Can I chop it and make firewood now? Am I a lumberjack? Can I sing the lumberjack song? These are life's unanswered questions. All very important. Empty bottles. I don't know what empty bottles actually get used for. We've got these wolf tracks again. It was a typical shack. Just like the ones you hear about in Quebecois legends. Local lumberjacks used it to rest and twice a day eat up their pea soup. Okay. Well, let's take a look. Let's see if there's anything useful in here. Chess. Who quits a game one step away from victory? That is a good question. Oh, we got the light on. Okay. Nothing I can do to actually turn that on. Because I don't have another material. Half-empty kettle. Um, anything else in here? Doesn't really look like it. Look at the details, though. Man. The details are just awesome in this game. All the little, the grain in the woods and all the little stuff just lying around. Socks and... I wish I could, I you know, if I were the detective, I would look inside that suitcase. A melted snow puddle. Okay. We did find an axe, though. Uh, so, let's go into some of this kind of stuff and go to equip. I want to equip... Oh. I want to equip a few things. I think I'm going to make the hatchet go in the first hotbar slot. The journal is actually broken right now since this is an early development build. So, let's put the crowbar there. And then the rest of it will just leave the way it was, I think. So I'll take the hatchet. We've got a crowbar. Oh, can I, like... No? Okay. Looks like I'm not going to find a whole lot around here. Oh. Oh, there we go. So we've got logs. So now, I think we could combine logs, matches, and a fire starter 
to light that fire and make it warm in here. Okay. So that's good, that's good. Okay, so let's, let's see. Now I think this is weight. I think there's a limit to how much weight you can carry. I'm just gonna grab a couple more of those logs just in case we need them. Uh, if we need more, I suppose we could always come back. Doesn't look like I can do really anything with that at the moment. Looks like I can't really chop down trees like a lumberjack. But let's go a little deeper down this road. And let's see what we can find. Okay, so it looks like that's all been chopped down. This road goes this way. Visibility is terrible. This is typical when driving in the winter. I think I see buildings back there. And the road splits. Oh, I'm a bad driver. I am a terrible driver. There we go. There we go. Okay. Let's see. Let's come up this way. Yeah, there's definitely some buildings. Ooh, stop. Okay. Let's get out here. Looks like we have another little lumberjack shack type. Welcome to Alibaba's Cave, Lumberjack Edition. Surely Carl would find something worth his time in here. Okay. Yeah, hopefully. Let's see. So we got nails, gas, um, flares. For a flare gun, I don't have yet. And drawers. What's in these drawers? Nothing. Oh, I was going to say, let me open them. Nothing there. Nothing there. I already have a needle nose pliers. More Polaroids. Anything up here? I haven't really found anything awesome in here yet. I was hoping to find something like really good. Oh, a lantern. Yep. No, you, no, you use. Can I not use it when I have. Apparently, it won't let me use the lantern. Maybe that's one of those things that's broken. Because normally you hit E, and I'm hitting E, and nothing is happening. So I'm not sure what the deal is there. Unless I'm carrying too much stuff. Am I carrying too much stuff? Oh. I didn't mean to do that. Um, okay. Let's see here. So, usable. Um, let's go back. Special. Log. Let's discard a couple. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I can see my weight falling there. Okay. So. And now I can grab the lantern. Got it. Okay. So basically, the, the weight does actually make a difference. I was carrying too much wood, essentially, to be able to pick up anything else. Okay. I was really hoping to find more in here, but it doesn't appear that that's going to be a thing. Let's check around the place as well. Maybe we'll find something like out back or... Or maybe not. I don't know. We've got more lumberjack stuff. Some tools, furniture. Nothing exceptionally great. I did find the lantern, though, so hopefully that'll help us out a bit. Hopefully we'll need that for something. 
I don't know. I think it's time to turn around and go back the other way. So, let's see here. Um... Can I... Uh, can you see your gas gauge? Fuel. Okay, so I'm like running on empty right now is what it looks like. But it looks like I need to go that away. So let's just make a wide turn. There we go. Okay. All right, let's head back and up that road and see what we can find up here. Anything good? Let's see. Hmm. Nothing in sight yet. There's something. A wolf. Okay. Let's follow it. Why not? Is this where we came from? I don't think it is. I'm pretty sure this isn't where we had originally come from. Or maybe this is just a different cabin. I'm thinking this is just a different cabin. Okay. Let's check around the outside first. We've got steak. Bottles of something or other. Okay. Let's head inside. Oh, it's dark in here. Can we see? Can I go through the door, please? There Without we go. a single window to brighten things up, the inside of the cabin was almost pitch black. Beware of close encounters of knee and furniture. Huh. Close encounters of knee and furniture. Nice. Okay, well, this should give us some light. So let's kind of peek around. Suitcase with clean clothes. Lots of bunk beds. Some stuff back there. Oh, there we go. Lights. Firewood of some sort. More stuff. Random stuff. Tools. A broom. Have they heard the bad news? Oh, a first aid kit. That's probably going to be useful. You never know. Hmm. Solitaire. A card game only hermits can truly enjoy. Carl felt depressed at the thought of playing this. I enjoy some solitaire from time to time. It's not that bad. I mean, come on now. Sometimes you just have time to kill and there's nothing better to do. What can you... I mean, what are you supposed to do in those situations? Let's see. Can I... Hey, get... Hey, reach, reach. Nope. Hey. hey. Oh, stop it. There's things in my way. There we go. More duct tape. Not running out of food anytime soon. Hmm. What is this? What's in there? A whole lot of nothing. Okay. So there's really nothing here either. A toothbrush, a wet toothbrush. That means recently used. Hmm. Food still out. Where did everybody go? You gotta wonder. I don't know. I don't know. But I do think that we are pretty much out of time for this episode, guys. So, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave me a comment. I do appreciate it, and it really helps out my channel. You can also find me on Facebook, Twitter, and Twitch. There are links in the video description below, so check that out as well. Otherwise, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll definitely see you next time.